Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Desiree, the founder of An Empowered Woman and Homework. And Homework is where you can live where you work, work where you live, anywhere in the world. You know, and as a business person, I've been in business since I was 12 years old. So multiple businesses, one of the things that either frightens or uh, slows me down is paperwork. In almost any kind of industry, you have paperwork, whether it's from your clients, from your, your members, whether it's from your, uh, if you do events, if you are in any industry, the medical industry, the insurance industry, the fashion industry, I mean, almost any industry, almost every industry, there's some paperwork. And so if I can minimize that process, expedite it, and have my person, my assistant to work on other things like marketing and sales and business development, instead of shuffling paperwork, I'm all in. So we met a young man, Brian McGram, who is the co-founder of Boilerplate. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm great. How are you? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited because I was introduced to you, one of our colleagues, and it was kind of like, okay, you know, it's probably too good to be true because I use some other document services, and I just have, I'm always on support because I just, it's so complicated. I can't remember from one move to the other what I did or what I didn't do the next time. But when she showed me yours, it's like, okay, I kept looking for more pages. I kept looking for more stuff. This can't be this easy. And now you're going to take us on a virtual tour of how easy it is about your product. But first, tell us a little bit about your product. So our product combines a doc, like a CRM for collecting documentation that lets you go out, send requests, the person clicks a link, submits what you need, comes back to you, as well as a digital filing system. So rather than having the old way of having to download the files, rename them, store them somewhere, track it in a spreadsheet, we do all that for you in a, in, with a real-time dashboard that shows status as well as access to the files. All right, take us away. Because when you talk about files and storing them, now what's a big issue is security. You know, especially now, we have to, now we're going to have more documents that's needed after the COVID and just cybersecurity. And you said you have a solution for that. Yes. So our, our, we knew from the beginning that we were going to be handling sensitive documentation. So we do, you know, advanced encryption, 256 bit um, tech people will know what that is. Other people, it's like, <laughs> it's as secure as you can make it, um, you know, for, for commonly used security. So we have that, we have firewalls. Um, there's a number of internal security measures. We're also part of a program through the Department of Homeland Security where they do routine scans on our software for vulnerability. Um, they don't put a guarantee on the product, but it's certainly a nice, you know, belt and suspenders um, type approach to, you know, making sure that everything's secure. That's amazing. That's fantastic. That's a big issue, especially for, again, the medical, the financial, or the insurance, or HR. Now it's all this privacy, you know, people are concerned about the privacy. That's huge. Okay, so we are at the, or the overview, yes? Yes. Yes, we are. So we're on the overview tab. So this is what you see as soon as you log in. There's a one minute overview that you can watch. We've got a full user guide, which will walk you through each tab of our platform with a quick video on how to use it, um, as well as written instructions, you know, step by step, um, depending on your learning style. We also have a chat widget here, whereas if you need to reach us, you can just chat with us. You know, we're happy to help you. We'll jump on the phone, whatever we need to do to make sure you're successful. So, you know, I, I told you, you know, the overall objective is to be able to, to streamline collecting documentation. So what we do is we have people start out with, you know, what forms and templates are you using routinely to collect from people? So generic forms are things that are going to send exactly as you've uploaded here. It could be a direct deposit form, an emergency contact form, an application. And then on the other side, we have recipient specific documents. These would be like a template for an offer letter or an engagement letter where you want to be able to customize it for the specific person that's going to receive it. You know, it's as easy as you click the template and then upload the file. And then what's nice is you can put in versioning information so you know which version of a file it is. Or if you have a form that's one is meant for a, a single person, one is meant for a married person, you can have different versions of that form. They're all, they all time dated, time stamped like they are? Yeah. I see the time, yeah, time stamps in the system. Um, so you can see Fantastic. when you're using which ones you want to use. Um, they're time stamped. This can also be like versioning information as well. Um, you know, whatever it might be. And then from here, what we do is we go ahead and we create a package. And when we do that, what you would do is you would go through, you would select the forms that you want to include, 
any recipient specific documents, as well as any additional request. Could be, we need your driver's license. We need a, you know, your date of birth, and that can be a text input. So basically anything you need to collect, a brokerage statement, whatever it might be, you put that in there and then you save it and close it. So from here, we have two options to collect the information. If there's nothing that has to be customized, you can literally just create a link and then that link can be pasted on your Facebook page, on your website, you can put it into a mail merge, say, hey, you wanna get a quote, click here. You wanna apply for a program, click here. They see the forms, they see the files um, that are needed. You can also send to a specific person, you know, as simple as putting in their name, their organization and an email address, then you can assign a package to them. You would choose what you want to send them. And then if you need to adjust, you know, the contents of that request, you know, there's something a little bit different about it. You can add and remove uh, documents from that request. You would hit the send button. They'll then get an email that will say, you know, with your name, um, and your company saying they, they've sent this request. Um, from here, we'll sh I'll show you what the recipient actually sees. Um, so they click the link, they come into the platform and I've already started completing some of this. Um, but they basically see a list of here are the forms that you need to download and fill out. Um, and then these are the files that I need from you. I need your driver's license. I need your date of birth. And you would literally just click, choose the file and in it goes. Now, some cases you don't have something. Someone might say, hey, I need a copy of your life insurance policy. You don't have a life insurance policy. So you can go in and say, the item doesn't exist. And then I'm not waiting around for something that's never gonna be there. You know, the old expression, you know, if the phone don't ring, you'll know it's me. Um, you know, you're waiting on something that's not there. Um, and then what's really nice, I'm flipping back um, to the requester mode, is each item that gets submitted shows up in a review queue. So you can see the file, you click it, it'll open, and then you can either approve it or you can return it. And if you have to return it, you can choose the reason why it's going back to them. You know, I asked for your electric bill and you sent me a picture, you know, of your kid with spaghetti all over their face, you know, wrong document. And then they'll automatically get notified, hey, this item has been returned for connect for corrections. Here's what you need to do to fix it. Um, or you can approve the item. And then what happens is we have a visual dashboard. And this is really our bread and butter to the whole product, aside from the, the, ease, the ease of use. So you can see each individual person, you can see which package of documents you've sent them, you see their organization as well. Um, and then you can see each individual file. So this is the direct deposit authorization. And you see, okay, it's been sent to them it's been accessed, they've gone into the portal, they've submitted the item, we've reviewed it, everything's done, and then the file's available for download. So you need it, you know exactly where it is, and then as an added little bonus, one of the most frustrating things where people would send you stuff and not put their name in the file. We used to do loans for municipal organizations. They would send us, you know, financial statements, 2008. You're like, well, they're all in my downloads folder, which entity is it? I still have to open the file and figure it out we automatically will put the person's name in the file name. We'll put the file name in there. We'll put um, the date, the status in there. So you would say, you know, demo recipient, direct deposit authorization, reviewed. So you knew it wasn't a draft, it was actually reviewed. And then the date. So you know that this is the, the exact file that you need. You don't accidentally send somebody a draft or one of those types of things. So that's the basic tour. And the beauty is that it's, it's easy for the person requesting the files. It's easy for the person that's submitting the files. And it's great for the person that's supervising all of this because they can see everything that's going on at once. So question, so you're able to see when they've opened it. Is that correct that the glasses are? So, because many times people say, oh, I didn't get it or what like that. So you're actually able to see that they've opened it. Uh, that they've received yeah. it and they've opened it, correct? Actually, this icon with the little email that's mm -hmm. been opened, mm -hmm. once they've actually accessed the portal, mm -hmm. this will trip and you can see this, this item um, is open. And then you can see here, this would be like the half circle means that it's in progress. Okay. So you can visually see. Um, we also have the ability to add, if you need to add a file yourself, for example, you have a new hire, they forgot to send their driver's license and you're like, all right, I'm just going to add it for you and you can click this and add it for them um, just as an easy way to, to get things done. I love, I love cross. If you can't, if you can't imagine, I love crossing things off, you know, check <laughs> off oh, the I did too. check, check, um, check, check. The logo. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So we, you know, we really try to, to make that easy. Um, and that was feedback from one of our early users. She said, I have some people that just say, you know, they, they, they just say, you know what, I just want to email this to you. And she's like, I'll deal with that. You know, we, we'd like you to go through the platform. If you, if you want to email it for whatever reason, you can do that. And I can still add it and have a full file for that person and not worry that something's sitting in an, in a Gmail inbox somewhere, you know, I remember going to Dropbox, email. going to your file, your 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 folder, oh, going uh, here and there. It's yeah. just, again, just become a real mess. And and then the thing is, again, you're hiring. We were talking about that. You're hiring people just to handle that, you know. Yep. And so, what's the value of that time for them doing it? And even if you get someone, this makes it almost foolproof. So you know, it's yeah. almost it's like almost you know. It's, I don't want, it's just foolproof, mistake proof, because they can follow the instructions. They don't have to be a genius to be able to do this, you know, and to be able to keep track of it and keep it organized. They, all they have to be able to do is click, 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 click. And I'm thinking about all these different industries now, like whether you're a nail salon, you have to get their people, you're hiring people with licenses. You got to get copies mm -hmm. of those licenses to make sure it's current and things of that type. If you're, yeah. you know, if you're, again, whatever you're, even hospitality, you know, the short-term rentals, we now have to get a driver's license for security and this and this and this. So being able to send that, you know, and then be able to get it back and just have, it cuts down the automation time, the organization time, but it really just frees your team. If you have a small team, mm -hmm. uh, it frees the time up and maybe you don't even need a team because this is so easy for you to do yourself. You don't have to spend hours and hours doing it. Absolutely. You get it. You, you see the value. <laughs> I get it because I don't, I'm not a fan of paperwork. And I, what I love about it, you know, we talked about the pricing. You said it starts as low as $49 a month. Exactly. Tell us what that, and that includes months. like a thousand. Tell us what, I don't remember all the details. Yeah, that, that gives you a filing system for up to a thousand documents. Um, and then from there, we just, we just work you up to the next tier. It's not one of those things where if you, if you go over a little bit, we'll kind of nudge you and say, hey, we should, we should move you up to the next plan. Um, but it's not one of those where we, we want to feel that it's fair pricing, mm -hmm. um, but also feel that you're, you're putting a fair value in your time. You know, I, I don't think there's anything better than saving people time, giving them back time is one of the greatest gifts um, you can give anybody. Um, plus, I've, I've been in roles juggling teams that were managing lots of documentation. I'm not going to lie. I had nightmares where I was stuck in Excel, in Excel spreadsheets, you know, trying to track this. And I'm going, where's this? Where's this school district's file? And I'm like, oh, my gosh, like this would have made everything that much easier. Oh, well, exactly. Eliminating the frustration, eliminating the things that could fall through the cracks because, you know, as, as humans and as whatever things do fall through the cracks or get misplaced. But, you know, you tell you $50 a month. I mean, the average person, I, mean, I don't know, you can get anyone less than $25 an hour. So no. that's just, you know, so we spend, we our system spend way more than two hours a month doing and tracking paperwork. So that's how I look at it. Like, what's my ROI? You know, so okay. what I'd rather have something that's more foolproof, that's more secure. It's also secure, makes you feel secure, but it makes your clients feel secure. Because like, yeah. I think twice about when I'm submitting documents to places, like, okay, where's this going? Is it going to you? Especially in the days of the facts or even emails, who has access to this email? Like who's going to have access yeah. to my social security or my bank statements or and in some industries, that's a, that's a given. You have to provide that information, but mm -hmm. who has access to that? Whereas if I know that it's in one place and it stays there, so if they transition from their, um, you know, their personnel transitions or their assistance, whatever transitions, then you know that it's still secure in one place. They can't really, you know, take it away with them. So that's huge. That's huge. Absol absolutely. All those, all those things. <laughs> I'm telling I'm excited. It's and you offer a 14 day trial, 14 day yeah. free trial. So, yeah. you know, anyone that thinks it could be of any value, Tell us how mm -hmm. they can exercise that. Tell us what that includes yep. or what that's about. Um, so it's 14 days is unlimited use. Come in, start using it, do whatever, whatever you need. And then at the end of that, you'll be prompted to select a plan. Um, if you need us to help, um, we do offer some additional services. If you need to get, you know, PDF, fillable PDFs created of forms, you know, we, we offer that as an additional service. Um, we'll also help walk you through everything. We have an onboarding campaign. You sign up, you'll get four emails that take you through, you know, some tips and some steps of what you need to get going. Um, I joke that I, I test this on, you know, my, my 66 year old father, who's a semi-retired accountant and say, and I just watch him, you know, you watch him over his shoulder. Well, COVID COVID safe now, watch him over his shoulder, um, but watch him use it. And say, okay, where are the where are the pain points? Where's where's somebody confused? Where are they? You know, what do I click? Um, so we we tried not to add a bunch of bells and whistles. We intentionally kept this 
really Simple. basic. It, it knows what it needs to do and it does it well. Fantastic. So Brian, in closing, what would you like to leave our listeners with today? Um, I would say, you know, take, you, you're all busy. You all run businesses. You know, time is precious. Take a headache off of your plate. That's either give it, you know, it's a cost. You're, you're wasting a lot of time or you're leaving revenue on the table because you could be onboarding more clients. You could be giving out more quotes, um, all those things. And then, you, you know, you reduce your compliance risk. Sleep a little better at night knowing that everything's where you need it. If there's an ever an issue down the road, if there's an audit, if there's, you know, government needs to look at stuff, whatever it might be, the lawyers need something. You're like, oh yeah, I got it. It's not an inbox of somebody that retired five years ago and is, you know, living on an island somewhere without a phone. And you're like, I don't know, they're not returning our calls. You're like, I wonder why. <laughs> they don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Uh, they're done they're done well thank you thank you i mean i just think it's like uh for me it's like don't sweat the small stuff and i can stop sweating the small stuff you know and every everything that i can put off my plate and put off my support team's plate i'm all for it and especially if something that's that you know that's affordable so thank you thank you thank you um nice. and i encourage everyone if you have any questions you're going to have all the information included feel free to contact them we'll give you a link get your free trial yeah. try it out come on board and spend that extra three four five ten hours a week at the beach <laughs> We're developing business, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> because there's, there's never enough hours to do that. So there's always yep. something else better to do than take chat paperwork. So thank you so much for sharing this. And I'm going to thank you for joining us today. Thanks. And this has been brought to you by Boilerplate and Homework. And uh, Homework is where you can live where you work, work where you live, anywhere in the world. And until we meet again, stay empowered.